Hi friends, in today's lecture, I will show you how to create relationships in pivot table in Microsoft Excel. So for this, I would request you to download the file pivot table relationships, which is provided to you in the description of this video. After opening the file, you will notice that in the file, there are two tabs. In the first tab is titled as sales and in that you have the headings like year, customer ID, category, product, sales and the rating. And the second tab you have the uh, you have the sheet name as customers and the field names are customer ID and customer name. Notice that between both these sheets the common field is customer ID. So you have customer ID in the customers table and you have the customer ID in the sales table. Now in order to set up a relationship between two or more files in Excel, you have to ensure that there must be at least one common field. After that, the second criteria is this data should be in the form of a table. So click anywhere inside the data and then press Ctrl T for table and click on OK. We will rename this table to sales and hit end. Then we'll click on customers, click anywhere in the data, press Ctrl T and select OK. We'll rename this to customers and hit enter. Now we'll come back to our sales data. We'll click anywhere inside the sales data. Now we'll insert the pivot table. In order to insert the pivot table, I would click on insert and in insert, I would select pivot table. Here you ensure that you put a check mark on add this data to the data model. Then click on OK. Now you will notice that here you can see all the fields from the sales table, but there is no data visible of the customer's table. So we'll click on all and here you can see the customer's table. So we'll right click on customer's table and select show in active tab. Then we would click on the active tab and from the customer's table, I want to see the customer name. So I will drag it down and from the sales table, I want the category, so I will drag that down as well. And from the sales table, I want the sales, so I drag the sales down. Now you will notice that this data is not accurate and Excel is prompting you that relationships might be needed. So either you can click on auto detect or you can click on create or you can click on the menu pivot table analyze and select relationships. In relationships, you can click on new and over here, you can select that from the data model table sales with the field customer ID. I want to set the relationship with the data model table customers on the common field customer ID and then click on OK. The relationship gets established and you will get the accurate results. So now I am able to see the customer names and their categories and their corresponding sales. So friends, in this video, we have studied how to set up a relationships using pivot tables in Microsoft Excel. If you have learned something new and if you have liked this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and we'll see you again in the next video. Till that time, goodbye.